Hi, this is Mabel's Tables, and I'm trying to uh, get together to make a Cornish hen and dressing video. We're going to try to make some Cornish hens and a dressing. And actually, they're going to be fake food. Okay, to get started, I've, I'm using my salt dough. And you know, uh, my salt dough is two cups of any kind of flour, one cup of table salt, and a half a cup of water. And you put the other half a cup of water away. So you're going to have two cups, uh, one cup of water and in reserve, just in case. And your dough is, is going to be like this. It's going to be so when you grab it up, It'll be like this. See how that, how that dough is looking like that? That's the way I want that dough. You could actually crumble it. That's the way it's going to turn out. Two cups of flour, any kind of flour, and uh, one cup of table salt. And this will make anything you want it to make. Okay, so today I'm doing Cornish hens and dressing. And I've got one Cornish hen already prepared. And there it is. It's all golden and brown. And I'm going to make some hot biscuits with butter. So this is one of the Cornish hens already brown. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I shaped this Cornish hen. So we're going to take... Let me move this out of the way. We're going to take our uh, salt dough, and I'm just going to get me a handful to start making the breast of the Cornish hens. And you know, Cornish hens are real small. They're not a big, big hens. So this is what I'm doing with this. Put some light on the subject, okay? This is how much I'm using right here, and that may be a little too big. So what I'm going to do is put it next to this one and see how it looks. About the same, don't you think? I'm going to take a little off. Take just a little off and put that back. We're going to move that out of the way, and we're going to make it. It's not going to be round. It's going to be like oblong. So we're going to make it this way because we're trying to make a breast for the Cornish hen. It's going to be almost like oval. I love making food. I've done this before, making food for businesses, but I just like making food. You know, when we were little girls, we played in the mud and made mud stuff. So that's going to be the body of my Cornish hens. And I'm going to put him right here. Place him right next to the other one. Now I'm going to reach over and get a little bit more out of the bowl. I'm getting it from the same place. I'm going to put it here because I need to make wing and legs and this is how much i have right here can you see how much i have right there that's how much i have right here for to make the wings and the legs and this is how i did my wing i'm going to show you how i did it i got that much pinched off. It's a little too much. Okay. See that? That's how much I got. And I'm going to roll it like this. And when I roll it, I'm going to smush it together like this. And it's going to come out looking like that. Now, you know, a wing is small on one end and kind of big on the other end. So we're going to smush that wing and that's why I told you to keep a little water here because you could put your hand there and just smooth that wing out. This is going to be the wing. Can you see that, how I did that? 
So what I'm going to do, bring this back over this way, and we're going to attach his wing right here. That's the wing, okay? See how that is? The wing. I'm going to get another piece. And I'm going to roll it again, just like I did that first one. There you go. Going to roll it. And we're going to smoosh it down together. And you know you got to have a tip on your wing. Got to have a tip on it. And we want to measure it to make sure, yep, about the right size. So I'm going to dip my fingers in some water. Smooth that out. Got to make that tip there for that wing. See that tip? Right there. And we're going to put it on this side. He got a lot of wing. Let me move his wing back some. There you go. Okay, now there's the wing. Let me wet my fingers again because I want to get everything looking really, really nice. So, move him over just a little bit. Okay, now let's get those legs on there. Going to take about the same amount. I want to say this is about uh, a dime worth. A dime worth. And we're going to roll this. Roll it in between my hand again. And we're going to roll it out. See how I'm rolling that out? And then we're going to take this, smoosh it in, and we're going to make a, a leg. See how it looks like a little chicken leg? That's what we want. Like this. Chicken leg. There you go. There it is there. I'm going to put a little water on that. Just to smooth it out. See that chicken leg? And I'm going to place his leg right here. There you go. There's the leg right there. One leg. Well, I'm going to go away and finish off, and then I'll come back. Okay, I got him. And you see, I put the cavity in there. I just took my finger and smushed it in right there for the cavity so we can put the dressing all across there. So, but right now, we're going to have to brown him. So, you see how I got this one all crispy and ground? Okay, these are the colors that I use for that crispy and brown look. I use some uh, nutmeg brown. And some royal gold together. Nutmeg brown and royal gold. And I put some... Mod Podge in with the color so it'll keep it shiny and it won't look dull when it finally dries up. And I have my brush right here soaking because I had painted this one before I started the video, but I want to show you what I did. Here's my brush. Let me dry my brush off. Now, where is my dry off towel? Uh oh, sorry. Let me get my dry off towel. Excuse me for reaching over you. Now, I had to get my dry off towel. I'm drying this off, okay? And this is what it looks like when I mix that two colors and that Mod Podge together. So now we're going to go ahead and paint this on. We want to get it on before it's... Um, Oh, it dries up. I, a lot of people like to get theirs on um, after it dry, but I go ahead and get mine on while it's still um, not dry and hadn't hardened yet. 
because I found out that if you go ahead and do all this now, that when it hardens up, it's going to look even better. So I'm browning my Cornish hens. And you know, the inside of your chicken is not brown. Just tap a little in there. It's just um, the white meat is there. You want to keep that there. So I'm, yes, I'm making Cornish hens and with stuffing. And I'm going to show you how that I made the stuffing. And y'all, I'm trying to stay busy. Hoping and praying that um, our son is found soon. I don't know. Somebody has a, everybody had something to say. Everybody know what to say and what uh, their theory on where he might be and all. Um, but you know, I, I don't listen to everybody. I go by what I feel. And um, his siblings uh, have some say so over where they think their brother is. So, and his children are just I I those are my grandchildren. Can you just imagine them not knowing where their dad is? And he's a very good father. He keeps in touch with all his children. And at this time, he would be getting ready to. Um, try to start getting his children's Christmas money to the mothers, you know, and he, I didn't agree with him on some of the things he did with his children, but that's his family and his y, ex-wife and ex-women. So, but you know, you can't tell children what to do, but you can put your two cents worth in it because one thing about it, my children will listen to what I'm saying. Okay, so I got the hens all golden brown. Just look at those golden brown hens. Aren't they pretty? Those golden brown Cornish hens. And that's white because, you know, the chicken meat, if it's not, it, it's white. It's crispy. It's white because, you know, you got the breast and the all, okay? So there we go. We got them all browned up and everything. Just look at how good they look. Cornish hens and dressing. Now, let me tell you how I'm going to make my dressing. The leftover, um, the leftover salt, though, looks like this. So I decided I'm going to mix some leftover salt, though, with a little, um, I'm going to put some brown in here, some burnt umber brown. See, we're making the dressing now. I'm going to put that in here, burnt umber brown. Just a little of the yellow. See that yellow? I'm going to put a little of the yellow in here. Let me open this up. It's not coming out that way, so I'm going to take it out this way. Put a little of the yellow in there, just a little. And I'm going to show you what I put in. See? That's what I put in right there. And I'm going to stir that up. And I'll be right back and let you see it. Okay, so now we got the dressing all stirred up. And I made some um, bell pepper and onions with the droppings from the salt dough. You see how the pieces of salt dough look like this? And I always save them. And I added some green to it to make some celery and white to make the onion. But this is the pieces of the salt dough that's left. So I'm making dressing out of it. And here I've made my uh, red bell peppers. And here is my dressing here with the um, onions and green bell peppers in it. And I'm going to rake it out here so you can see it. I mix it all in here. And here it goes. We're going to mix the red bell pepper in there with it. And I got some celery. 
Let's move this over so you can see what I'm doing. And we're gonna move that right there. And I'm putting my bell, my crushed, my chopped bell peppers in there with that. And I have my chopped celery in here with it as well. There you go. I forgot to turn the light on. I'm sorry. So this is what we're doing. This is our stuffing. These are my bell peppers that I chopped them all up, made out of the same salt though now. I just crumbled it up, made crumbs out of it, crumbled it up, and here it goes. And the red bell pepper and the onion right here. So now what we're going to do, we're going to stuff our hens. And how I'm going, I'm just going to drop it in there like this. Some good stuffing. Once I stuff my hens, see how I'm doing that? That's the bell pepper and the cornbread and the onions and the uh, red bell peppers, okay? And then we're going to go up here and put some stuffing all around this way. You know how you make your stuffing, your dressing and your stuffing? It be so good, Lord. And we're going to put that here. We're going to make a lot of stuffing because if your family is like my family, they love cornbread stuffing. Yes, they do. And I don't want the celery on top of my hens. So I'm going to move that down. Okay. And you make everything while it is wet because it'll look better. When it dries, it'll look better. I'm going to put stuffing all around the hen, all around the Cornish hens. This is Cornish hens and cornbread stuffing with red bell peppers and onions. Black pepper, salt, cream of chicken soup, cream of mushroom soup, and you got you the best stuffing. And let us not forget the chicken broth, my lord. So let us go ahead and, and get this stuff up in our bird. And we're going all the way around to make our bird look just delicious. Stuffing Cornish hens with cornbread stuffing. This is our Cornish hens with cornbread stuffing. Make sure I got enough stuffing all around my hen. Just gonna keep stuffing it up. And there you go. Cornish hens with cornbread stuffing. Do you like that? Do it look real enough for you? This is my faux Cornish hens with cornbread stuffing. And I put it all around my hens and all up in the cavity. See, I stuffed it up in the cavity as well. You see my onions, green bell peppers, red bell peppers, they're all there. Okay, now this is what it looks like. Okay, so now I've made my Cornish hens with cornbread stuffing. I'm going to do my biscuits, okay? So we got the, we're going to set that to the side, and we're going to let that do what it do, and we're going to bring the biscuits back out, okay? And I already made the biscuits to save some time, but you use the same method you use the same method and you use the same salt dough. See that salt dough? You use the same salt dough. And just grab your little piece. Grab your little piece and I'm going to show you how to get you a nice, big, beautiful biscuit. Okay. Let's bring this back out here. So you can see. And we're going to smash that down like that. We're going to roll it first. And I have my rolling pin here in case I needed it, but I'm so I've gotten so used to making faux foods that sometimes I don't need the rolling pin. We're gonna hit that to the side. I'm gonna get a little bit more dough because I want a big, 
fat biscuit. I don't want a sick biscuit. You know, sometimes you go to some people's house and they have them biscuits that look like you can throw them across the wall and they bounce back off and hit you in the head. We don't want one of them. We want a nice, good, juicy-looking biscuit. Yeah. And get some water and put on there to make that biscuit look, oh, Lord have mercy, make it look so good. Okay. And we're going to keep going. Put a little more water on my finger. And the water actually smooths it out. And you can just keep smashing it down till you get it the way you want it. And I am using my cutter. Uh-oh. I'm going to put this. Um, what I got with my cutter? I put water in my cutter. Hold on a minute. Oh, no. Here it is. And this is my biscuit cutter right here. I'm going to put it right there on my biscuit. Line it up real good. Line it up. And then I'm going to smash it down. Turn it. And just look at that beautiful, beautiful biscuit. And I'm going to throw my excess over in there because I save all my dough. And then here is what I've made before, and I'm going to put that biscuit in with these, okay? Going to move these over, and you see how they move over? This is that salt dough. It's very pliable and can be moved. Put this right here, and I'm going to take this new biscuit, come on, baby, and put it right, wait a minute, I probably need to put the little biscuits in the middle. There you go. And put this one right here. And we're going to move this one over some. So there are your biscuits, okay? There's my, I'm going to get some water and tap all the top of my biscuits. Tap them all. And you know, your biscuit's supposed to have that little crease in there because mm, that's the nooks and the little cranny things that the, that the, uh, that the butter is going to go in, okay? Now, I'm going to color my biscuits because I'm going to put some honey on my biscuits and I'm going to color my biscuits. Now, I want my biscuits light golden brown. I don't know how you like your biscuits, but I like mine light golden brown. So, what I'm going to do is I'm using this Royal... I want to add a little brown. Where's my, um, I'm going to put this here, and I'm going to make me a color for my biscuits. I'm going to put this in there. Can you see what that is? Right in here, making me a color for my biscuits. And I'm going to put a little yellow, not a lot of yellow, but I'm going to put a little yellow in with that first one. There you go. And I'm going to put the burnt umber, no, the chocolate bar. Yeah, is that the chocolate bar or should I? Yeah, I'm going to put the chocolate bar in there. See? I'm mixing just a little bit of each in here to color my biscuits. Oh, I I'm, got the wrong bottle of chocolate bar out. I have another bar of... Uh, job but I'm going to try to get some out of here well there we go that's just enough okay and I'm gonna take this and stir it together just enough have me a good old gold bi golden biscuit now we're gonna take my brush and Make sure it dried off real good, no other color in it. And we're gonna paint these biscuits. And I like to paint my biscuits too while they are uh, still wet. Cause when everything dries up, you're talking about looking good, my Lord. They are gonna really look good. And I got um, what I need in here to have my biscuits looking like real done biscuits, okay? We're going to paint that. We're going to paint all the biscuits, and then I'll come back and let you see the finished biscuit.
Okay, here are your biscuits, all golden brown and delicious. And let me tell you, I'm going to put a slather of butter on them biscuits, y'all. What I did was took the same dough, the exact same dough, and I colored it with some yellow. And what I'm going to do is just roll it out just a little bit, put a little more flour on it, just roll it out with my hand, just pat it out with my hand, okay? And I'm just going to take it, I pat it out with my hand, turn it over on the other side, and I'm going to uh, just take this spoon right here, and I'm just gonna cut this, cut this butter like this, and cut some more down there like that, and I'm going to take you see how I got the spoon right here? And I'm going to make me a slather of butter right there. Make another slather to go on this biscuit and make a slather to go on that biscuit. And I'm going to put some butter on that biscuit, okay? So we've got butter everywhere. Good old homemade butter, churn butter. When I was a girl, we used to use the butter churn. Oh my goodness, people don't make butter anymore. They don't even know how to make butter anymore, if I must say so. So we used to churn butter, and I know you say, oh God, that's oh you're not that old. No, I'm not that old, but my grandmother was, and she sure didn't like what she called store-bought butter. She didn't like it, so... We had to do things her way. So there's the butter on there, on those biscuits. Now, to even make those biscuits, whoo, delicious as us, I'm going to put some golden honey. Have you ever seen real honey? Real honey is golden. Oh, man, it's beautiful. So here we go. I'm going to put just a little golden honey on these biscuits. Oh, man, 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 man. Let it run down the plate. Look at that. Look at that biscuit. Oh, man. Will you take a look at that? That's the way we used to eat when I was a girl. Now, and that's probably why we all are diabetic. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. <laughs> but we used to have golden biscuits and with that golden uh, honey on it. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. And just take a look at that with you. That's your biscuits with butter and golden honey. Take a look at that. Now, can you beat that? Look at that honey sliding all off in the plate. Lord, have mercy. These are my four biscuits with butter and golden honey. I hope you have enjoyed seeing me make these. And I pray that everything in your house is A-OK. -okay. I pray that your children are good, your husband, your wife, everybody is good. And don't forget to pray for someone else besides yourself. And always remember, that God is alive and well. And with those honey biscuits, guess what we going to have? With those honey biscuits, we going to have these hens, these Cornish hens with dressing. We going to have these Cornish hens with dressing. You see those beautiful Cornish stuffed hens with dressing and the honey butter biscuit. This is Mabel's Table saying I love you with a passion. Please, please, please don't forget to pray for somebody else besides yourself. And I know that God is holding my situation in his hand. Mabel's Table saying I love you and I do.